Alright guys, welcome to a video that will show you how to access um, WebEx on a phone, iPhone or iPad. Um, theoretically, this should be the same uh, for Android. I imagine it's the same. So uh, if you have an iPad from the school, we all have already installed WebEx Meet on there. If you don't, you need to go install that from the App Store. Uh, pretty easy, you know, regular old install stuff. So that guy needs to be installed. Um, so you're going to go ahead and open it. And the very first time that you open it, it will show this guy right here. You just need to accept those, uh, terms of service. Um, and then you don't want to click anything here. You actually want to click the link your teacher is going to give you from Google classroom. It's really, really important that you do not share this link, um, with anyone else. Um, cause if you do share the link, unfortunately, then we're going to have to go ahead and create a new link for everyone else to see. And people are going to get confused, um, because, uh, these links basically will work for, uh, your teachers, for anyone to sign into. All right. So what's going to happen is, is you're going to have to open up, um, the link. I have already have it copy pasted, uh, cause I don't feel like doing another version of this. So hopefully I do. So, um, uh, I'm going to click paste here because that's the link that I was given. So when you click the link, it'll immediately ask you to open this page in WebEx Meet, and you do want to do that. If you don't do that, it's it's going to try to charge you money, and you don't want to do that. So just open it up in the WebEx Meet. Here it's going to say enter your information. For everything to work for free, you need to type in um, your school email, and all of your teachers are going to request that your name be your action. It says display name, so technically you type in what you'd like, but I would really appreciate it if you had your first name and last name um, so I know who you are, and uh, your teachers will appreciate the same thing. Uh, so for me, I'm going to enter in um, my name here. We got uh, Carson Richards. Um, over here and an email address. I'm going to go ahead and type in my gateway e uh, email for, for teachers. It happens to be at gateway CC, but for you guys, it is your MEID email. It is the at Maricopa email. So, you know what, why don't I just sign in with that Maricopa? I wonder if that'll actually, I'm, I, I'm going to sign in with my gateway one. I have both, but I'm going to sign with the gateway. Again, you should be using your MEID right there. I just don't have an extra MEID to use. So there's, there it is. And I'm going to click OK. And it will immediately hit uh, join. And it will just boom, connect you. Um, if you click any of the, oh boy, if you click these options down here, that's going to unmute you. If you click that one right there, it's going to uh, show your video. If you need to, you know, show a picture of like, you know, what you're working on to your teacher. If you click video, usually it goes from your face cam, but there's a, I wonder how you change that. I actually haven't tried that yet. And then hold on. My computer started making sounds. I don't know why. All right. So I'm going to see what happens. Let's see if I hit this video button. Um, see, now it's taking a picture of my ceiling. Let's see if it will replace it. Now, yeah, see, here it says the preview. Like it shows you a preview of what you're doing. So you can like hit start video and then it will show you, show your, it is showing everybody, um, by the way, like what is on your screen. If you click this guy, you can see what you're showing to people. So over here it's like, oh yeah, cool. I mean, I, I don't know. Here's, here's my pen that's under there. So, uh, let's see. Oh, there's, there's my pen on my video. Anyways, you could do that. If you click the, uh, little microphone right there, it'll unmute you. Yeah, stop the video. If you want to do that, um, that microphone right there, uh, that'll make it so you can be heard. It's very useful, especially if I end up with, you know, 20 kids in this video at the same time, if you were to go ahead and click that guy to mute yourself so that you don't have to, uh, you know, have everyone hear every little thing that's going on in the background, you know, you know, mom screaming at you to pick up your socks, you know, that kind of thing, whatever it is, uh, <laughs> you don't want uh, the background noise uh, uh, going. So if you could hit that mute button when you're not talking, that would be wonderful. So that this is everything is off, you can show stuff. Um, when you are in here, 
you got to know every single person in the class is able to hear what you're doing and every single person in the class is able to see the video that you put up there. Um, so uh, you need to be aware of that. If you do want to schedule a one-on-one -on -one with a teacher over this app, you are able to do that. You'll have to email them um, and there is a way uh, to, to make that happen. Um, okay, awesome. So that was the... Um, the iPhone version of it. No, I do not want to rate this thing. And that's pretty much it. Um, please note, if you're doing this on a desktop, it's almost exactly the same. You're going to click the link and it's going to ask you to install uh, a, uh, a web app. And you do want to actually install that web app. So um, I'm going to go ahead and open a private window so it doesn't think that I've installed this stuff before. So there we go. Now I have this private window open. Let's go ahead and see if I can get my Firefox capture running. Um, okay, there it is. Transition over. Okay, awesome. So I only have it on private window so that it doesn't know. Oh, that is a document. That is not the link that I want. What a bummer. So where is my link? Um, there it is. Okay, so there is my link to join, and I'll just click that guy, and it's immediately going to ask me to install oh, this app. Well, you can't see the install. Hmm. Well, it is showing up on my screen to install because it's not actually part of the um, Firefox thing. That's why my video is not showing it, and I don't want to show my entire screen. That's not that's not what I want to do right now. So uh, WebEx, uh, you also want to install it, and once you install it, it'll run exactly the same basically as on uh, the iPad. And again, you got to sign in using your full name, please, and your MEID. Um, if you don't use your MEID email again, it's going to try to charge you for stuff, and you don't want to do that. Um, anyways. Have a good one. Hopefully that was informative as to how to use WebEx.